Chapter 6. Ta-da! In the torchlight, Jack saw three huge men standing over him, one with the very squinty eyes that held the torch, and one with a very red face that held Jack. The one with a very long mustache held on to Annie. Annie was kicking and yelling. Stop, said the one with the very long mustache. Who art thou? said the one with the very red face. Spies, foreigners, Egyptians, Romans, Persians, said the squinty eye one. No, you dummies, said Annie. Oh, brother, Jack muttered. Arrest them, said red face. The dungeon, said squinty eyes. The guards marched Jack and Annie out of the armory. Jack looked back frantically. Where was his backpack? Go, said the guard, giving him a push. Jack went. Down they marched, down the long, dark hallway. Squinty, Annie, Mustache, Jack, and Red. Down a narrow, winding staircase. Jack heard Annie shouting at the guards, Dummies! Meanies! We didn't do anything! The guards yet laughed. They didn't take her seriously at all. At the bottom of the stairs was a big iron door with a bar across it. Squinty pushed off the door, pushed the bar off the door, and then he shoved at the door. It creaked open. Jack and Annie were pushed into a cold, clammy room. The fiery torch lit the dungeon, and there were chains hanging from the filthy walls, water dripping from the ceiling, making puddles on the stone floor. It was the creepiest place Jack had ever seen. We'll keep him in here till the feast is done, and then we'll turn him over to the duke, said Squinty. He knows how to take care of thieves. There will be a hanging tomorrow, said Mustache, if the rats don't kill him first, said Red. And they all laughed. Jack saw that Annie had his backpack. He was quietly unzipping it. Come on. Let's chain the two of them, said Squinty. The guards started toward them. Annie whipped out the flashlight out of the backpack. Ta-da! she yelled. The guards froze. Then they stared at the shiny flashlight in her hand. Annie switched on the light. The guards gasped in fear. They jumped back against the wall. Squinty dropped the torch. He fell into the dirty mud puddle on the floor and splattered, and it all went out. My magic wand, Annie said, waving the flashlight about. Get down or I'll wipe you out. Jack's mouth dropped open. Annie fierce, fiercely pointed the, her light at one and then the other. Each howled and covered their face. Oh! Down! Down! Get down, all of you! shouted Annie. One by one, the guards lay down on the wet floor. Jack couldn't believe it. Come on, Annie said to them. Let's go! Jack looked out the open, looked at the open doorway. He looked at the guards, quaking on the ground. Hurry! said Annie. And in one quick leap, Jack followed her out of the terrible dungeon.